Hi, you may consider buying a new 3D printer and may be confused on FDM or DLP SLA, this kind of printer, depending on your application. If you are printing miniature, I think this video is good for you. I'm on the one half duplicator 7, it's a DLP system. Basically, I can present it can represent most of the DLP printer. They are working exactly same, just from different manufacturers, just like FDM printer actually. They are most likely same and uh, some ex more expensive, some cheaper, just because of the enclosure and all the system that or all the uh, material quality they put in. I uh, mean, like models and sensors that kind of thing and this today i i show you two sample model i print yesterday night one of the one is the one okay look at it this thing actually is very small behind it is a port this is my finger so this is my finger size of the viking models from think i was okay so the model actually Nothing to say about not not much to say about that. This is a lot of details. Look at the thing. Look at the eyes. Look at the nose. Look at the mouth. Mustang. And you can if I zoom in a lot, you can see the layer line. This layer line is zero point zero five millimeter. Yeah, you look at my fingerprint. This is very detailed on this thing. You can look. You can see this is a very nice print with a very small layer height. If you don't zoom in that much, normally you won't. You you are not going to really found that the layer the line there. And you look at the more details on the pants. And see on the arms, on the fingers. On the armor, okay, yeah. the head, yo, it's cool. And look at the shoes. I got some bit overhang here. Some material left out, but never mind. Left it there first. And but I say this is a fail print. The deep rabbit hose of DLP is you need to try an area a lot of. Support. The support and the diamond, the, the the orientation of the models. Look at back here. This part, the base, the base should should be the round part, and the support is fail. It's just slip away. They are not stick together. So this is the original model at the back. You can see the base is round, and this baby here. Printing missing some parts but the shell even this small detail is still on but just too small it's very hard to see well but overall it's good if a leak part the, the, the cap is fine stop wherever it should just the base hmm. Then you might oh and a shield base shield bottom a little bit rounded. You might think why I printed like forty five degree like this and not printed like this. Because I think print like this, the failing part possible on the elbow arms there. So but in this case I can accept the fail on the base, not on the model itself. Well this is the reason. and look if you like to print this model too you can just go to this sync number and you can print it yourself it overall is good i will print another sort and another one kin to get and try to see i can process fully process this part or not this is a very common problem for the lp printer that's due to the small pin of the support and too sticky to the bed, to the want or tank 
then when leaf up actually pretty like this when leaf up they they are just simply break off but I, when when it come out the supposed overall looks looks good just this part is missing well you you, you can let me a command to say whether this is good for you crazy beauty or shit anything I can tell I can tell that most of the DLP printer can achieve this level of detail just also the problems and this is not the first time I'm facing this kind of bed okay let's continue look at the lighthouse and this lighthouse is awesome Look at the windows. Let's zoom in. Look at the windows. Yeah, I got a little break off, but uh, that is due to the same problem or just now that Viking base because of the connection surface is too small and it just simply break off. But most of them is good. The house. Sorry. Ah, where is it? Most of them looks awesome you see the upside mirror uh, plus on it I think I think this is good this is I can call this as a successful print but 90 95% success you got a break gap here maybe they they do the mic when i doing clean off i i not sure about that i will buy a sonic cleaner so look at the stair yeah look at look at the stair layer by layer this is raw and stay again this is 0 0.05 millimeter per layer I think it's good enough. This is the nice print. But the same thing, if you if you know how to print FDM, this is most likely the same. If FDM can print successful like this from the base to top, so DLP should print successful from top to down bottom. Of course if you print bigger this problem should be missing. Because now it's too small. It's really too small. Look at, I'm zoom in. You see, maybe you feel that this is that this is my finger, Malaysian finger is even, yeah, boat. And this is the airport. I'm not sure what to talk about this. It's so, so small. Two tiny little models, and uh, with time with a lot of detail on this thing. Well. I think it's worth it to get one of the D the DLP or SLA printer if you want the miniature models, especially those tabletop game. Look at this, how small is it? How beauty for the base issue? You can just simply create another half of it and glue together, and this thing is sendable if you want it all the layer line missing you can use a small sandal to do this but I think it's very hard and also you can paint it I think I need some volunteer help me to paint this thing too I, I got no painting skill I need some brother help me well if you if you think you can paint you can paint for me in you and you are in Malaysia let me know I will print one for you and you paint one for me <laughs> trade off okay today videos until here if you got any question or thing tell or you can have got anything about this DLP 3d printer let me know let me know and or if you got any question you let me know I can I, I can find your answer and tell make another video tell you look at the nose oh that's it goodbye